people of Reddit with security cameras. What is the creepiest thing you've caught on video, part 2? We have cameras installed inside our business because we've had problems with people coming in and stealing shit. Most of the cameras are only filming inside but because we have pretty big windows. You can sometimes get a glimpse of the outside. We're located on a pretty busy downtown street in a large city. One day I finally get to work after painstakingly circling around in my car because many roads surrounding our business were cordoned off by police. From inside my business. I see clothes just scattered all over the street but didn't think much of it. But the next day. Police come in and ask if we have cameras that overlook the streets. Apparently there had been a very bad accident involving a pedestrian and a car in the early hours the night prior and there were no witnesses. The driver of the car was hospitalized due to shock and the pedestrian had died on the way to the hospital. Our cameras have limited storage space and will overwrite themselves so we hurriedly removed the cards and started going through them one by one to see if the accident might have been caught on tape. We didn't expect to find anything as the accident happened a bit further down the street and at like 3 am while it was still pretty dark out. Not to mention that we didn't have a very clear view of the street. Wrong. We saw. In HD video. A skinny older man get hit right in front of our business and dragged several meters down the street. Prior to discovery of the footage. Many believed that the driver of the vehicle was probably speeding as is usually the case down this street. But the pedestrian had actually crossed the street on a red light with his back turned to traffic and was struck like a brick. Probably the most horrifying thing I'd ever see. Apparently the man was a newcomer that had just gotten a job as a dishwasher at a restaurant and was returning home after his shift. Not creepy. But my dad has caught my mom slipping on ice while taking the garbage can up and down the driveway multiple times. He always emails the clips to me with the subject mom fail. Came home from dinner one day, fuck you covered, and there were feathers all over my lawn. Pulled up the security footage and a hawk had dive bombed whatever those feathers belonged to mid air down to my lawn then took off for its dinner. That was metal. I have cameras in my house for my dogs that alert me when they bark and I can send them treats. Etc. It basically functions as a security camera. Anyways. We went on a vacation and I warned our dog sitter in advance that we have cameras in common areas of the first floor of our home. One day during my trip, at 3 am, I review my dog footage because I get an alert on my phone that my dogs are barking like crazy. I normally wouldn't creep but I was concerned that maybe there was a fire or break in or the woman fell, etc. The footage shows the dog sitter, a 70-year-old lady, running around the house swearing at my dogs. In underwear only. Daughter was dating a guy and his father was walking through our property taking pictures of everything. He assumed because we were white and she was living at home we were up to something. He completely denied it when asked. Like dipshit I got you on camera. And after upgrading I caught somebody shitting on my neighbor's lawn across the street. Went over to tell them and one of their kids stepped in it already. I installed some security cameras at my place after my neighbor told me they thought they'd been hearing someone walking around my yard at night. I scanned through the footage the very next morning and saw a guy come into frame wearing only boxers and laced up combat boots. He stood by my bedroom window. Stared in for about 45 minutes then walked back out of frame. I was able to get a pretty good look at his face. And that's when I realized that I've been fucking sleepwalking. I have no idea how long it's been going on or where the fuck else I've been at night. And that fucking terrified me. I honestly think I might have preferred seeing an actual intruder. I was looking for a lost calf out in the woods one night and found a game camera I didn't recognize on the property. It got a few pictures of me. It was my boss's friend and she had forgotten to tell me. My boss had a good laugh when her friend checked his camera and nervously told her there was a guy with a shaggy beard and a handgun wandering around the woods in the middle of the night. I, me midnight fridge rating wearing only one sock. I sleepwalk and it's becoming a problem. Me. I never realized how many things I sniff in an average day until I started reviewing the footage. Not super creepy but we caught a bear chilling on our lawn. I put one of those $30 cube cameras in my car after my mentally unhinged co-worker put a nail under my tire. Instead I filmed myself driving down the highway for 5 minutes. Having a conversation with myself about grey hair and buying a taser. Ta my old apartment had incredibly unprofessional repair staff. I'd call them because my AC would be out. 
and they'd come over while I was at work, rather than at the agreed upon time while I was home, and they'd use my bathroom. Poke around through my stuff. Type on my keyboard. Fuck around with my pets. Etc. Needless to say. I was pretty livid. I set up a camera and caught them. Then took the footage to the front office. I got a personal call from the owner of the apartment complex to apologize. And almost the entire repair staff got fired. I work for a security company. A murderer walking past our office with a knife in his pocket. He used that knife to slaughter an old woman in a church a few hours later. Oh yeah, and he had just asked one of our staff for walking directions to the nearest church. Back when we didn't have gates on the driveways. I set up a game camera. I have a whole file called Weirdos in my yard. It's mostly rando people who look lost. One guy though drove into my side yard. Sat there in his car for 20 minutes. Backed almost out of the yard. Waited. Then drove back in, then eventually left. The game camera was because I caught people peeping in the windows again. We decided to upgrade. Massive gates across all the driveways stopped the weirdo creepers but our new camera system. And the three dogs. Tell me when anyone so much as slows down on the road by my house. With 12 cameras there's nowhere that isn't on video now. I saw it only because cops came by asking for footage from our condo building. I was walking from my car to front door of our four unit building. In the background behind me you see an old lady, I think cops said she was 70 plus, walking on other side of the street. And about 20 feet behind her you see a guy following her. On camera you see me walking into the condo building and about 20 seconds later they're off screen just before a street corner where the guy punched her. Broke her orbital bone and stole her phone. The assault happened just off camera. But knowing the result. Watching this guy stalk her on camera is creepy as hell. The cops used the footage to see which direction he came from and basically just went from condo building to condo building trying to piece together footage to see where the guy lives. Not sure if they ever found him unfortunately. One night about 3 a.m. the dogs went crazy. Check the cameras and there is this guy just sitting on a windowsill beside the front door. Wasn't being threatening or trying to break in. Just sitting and looking around. Called police non-emergency. They came and realized he was a neighbor. He was thinking our house was his job site and he was just waiting for the plumbers to finish. I am not sure if it was a weird ambient sleepwalk or one of the odd stories about UTIs or co-causing delusions. He got taken for medical evaluation and it appears got the treatment he needed. Ended up moving out a few months later after what looked like being in and out of the hospital to me. It started out being slightly creepy. But it ended up being really funny. I have external cameras with night vision all around my house. My family and I were on vacation several time zones west of our house. One night. Right before I was about to go to bed. I got an alert and logged in to see what was going on. I saw a car pull into my driveway and four people get out. Acting all sneaky and stealthy. It was well past midnight at my house. And this didn't look good. I called my wife and kids in to watch it. I was preparing to call the police in my hometown. We saw them all sneak away and toilet paper a neighbor's house. They then ran back to their car in my driveway and sped off. My family and I laughed so hard. It was a highlight of that vacation. When we first installed a video security camera. I knew my husband was anxiously awaiting the first thing to trip the motion sensor and get recorded. Sending him an instant notification on his phone. He went out for a beer. So I quickly put together an outrageous costume with a crazy headdress and did an eclectic dance past the camera. Complete with a kazoo marching band song. If only I'd had a camera to view him at the bar as he spewed his beer with laughter. Wasn't a security cam but this one time my roommate set up a web camera in the living room which was motion activated because we had four dogs in the house and at least one of them was shitting on the carpet. Three of the dogs were pretty average on intelligence but one of them was too smart for her own good. So we all cruise out and do our thing. And upon returning we check the carpet and there is what appears to be a little chocolate smudge on the carpet. Of course we were all out together so we knew no one would have made a poor attempt to clean up any accidents. So naturally we checked the video. And the culprit ended up being the smart dog. She does her business. And right as she's about to walk away she stops. Turns her head and looks directly at the camera. 
and after a moment of realization. She turns her ass around and gobbles up her shit to remove the evidence. Had a ring doorbell when I lived in South Florida. Kept getting motion notifications one afternoon but couldn't see anything. Finally saw what it was. A six-foot gator chilling out in the entranceway. Thankfully he left before I got home. Saw somebody walk across my backyard at 2 a.m. We live in a very rural area. He didn't have any bag or anything on him either. Wasn't wearing a heavy coat or boots. It was below freezing and there was snow on the ground. No flashlight either. To this day I still don't know who he was or what happened to him. Called the police when I noticed it. But it was a few days after the fact so he was long gone. Thanks for watching.